Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a close look at the new Stormcast Eternal miniatures included in the Dominion box set. You may have already seen the Age of Sigmar Dominion box set reveal video I did where we went through all the minis, but in this video we'll take a real close look at the Stormcast Eternals. And I've done a separate video for the Cruel Boy Zorox already, so I thought this would be a good time to look at the Stormcast. Also done a video for the unboxing and also for the release date, which is the 19th of June, so can't wait for that. But now let's take a look at those Stormcast Eternals up close and check out all the new models that we're going to see. And here we've got our first miniature that we saw for the Stormcast Eternals, and this is Indrasta, the Celestial Spear. And she's been tasked with a mission to hunt down the beast rising up across Gur. And this includes that new Oryk Menace, the Cruel Boys, and ultimately Kragnos himself. And as one of the near mythical lords of Azir, Indrasta was reforged by Sigmar's own hand and given a fraction of his godlike power. And she takes to battle with these angelic wings, hunting down the largest fiends she can find with her spear and sword. It's a pretty impressive model. I think this is gonna be a great centerpiece for any Stormcast army. And it's great to have this centerpiece included in the Dominion box set. So I can't wait for this and just to see exactly how big she's gonna be. But with that wingspan's pretty immense. And I really like the details. Again, that swampy kind of narrative that's running through with the Cruel Boys is shown in this terrain here. So hopefully we'll get some terrain released in the future that represents this kind of swamp area and where the almost the civilization's been kind of eaten up by the swamp as it's overgrown it. But I really like this idea and I'm looking forward to developing that for sure. But for a centerpiece, this is a great start having Indrasta, the Celestial Spear, as the leader perhaps for the army. So really impressed by this and we got off to a great start. The armor looks fantastic. All those details there are great. Really love those wings. But overall, this is a great start to the army. So really looking forward to this. But let's move on to the next miniature, which is going to be the Lord Imperitant with Griffhound. So as a kind of peerless leader, these Lord Imperitant are the finest strategists in Sigmar's service, wielding the forces of the Stormcast Eternals as one unstoppable war engine. And if you saw the video that was released with the Dominion set when the preview came out, then he was like the main character that narrated the cinematic trailer. And he also comes with this great Griffhound, Iron Beak, and this guy's even got his own little hammer on the collar there as you can see so really great detail in there but it's always cool to have some more griff hounds so i really like that part of the kind of stormcast army how these griff hounds are included i think they're awesome and as we've seen from all the models detailing's fantastic that kind of griff charger like pelt on his back there on part of his cloak is fantastic and you can see on the armor they've got a lot of like the knee pads and shoulder pads all shaped to look like different parts of animals so i really like how they've incorporated that into it but really think these are going to be fun to paint and with this guy you've got two options you can have him with the kind of mask or you can have him without it or helmet so it's up to you i don't know if anyone else has picked up on this but that picture the top right of his face just reminds me of trigger from only fools and horses if he had a big beard i don't know if they did that on purpose or not but that's i just saw it today and i thought oh that's weird it does really look like him but there we go that's the lord imperitant with griffhound and a great model to have as one of your heroes Next up, we've got the Knight Arcanum, and as keepers of ancient and forbidden lore, Knights Arcanum are eccentric wizards who are able to harness and channel the fulminating power of their fellow warriors to bring ruins to the enemies of Sigmar. And I think this is an awesome looking miniature. At first, I thought this was um, a man, but it's obviously a female. A lot of people pointed that out. And so, big hands though, looking like got a big hand going on there, certainly in that picture in the top left. And again, you can have this with the helmet on or off. I definitely leave the helmet on. I think that looks awesome. Having that white helmet looks real menacing. And I love like the little um, kind of ball there on the belt, the books and parchment rolled up. I think it looks fantastic. And that cloak in that purple color they've gone for is really great. So I think for me, of the, all the Stormcast models included in the Dominion set, this one's my favorite. It just looks great. And I love having like wizard miniatures anyway. That'd be real fun. And I could imagine using this in other games. So yeah, really looking forward to getting this model and seeing how we can paint it up. Not sure how I'm gonna do the Stormcast armor yet, whether I'm gonna go gold, 
but um yeah this looks awesome but what color would you do it i'd love to hear what you think what color do you think looks good for a stormcast army and if you were going to do a brand new stormcast army what color would you go for so join in the comments below be awesome to hear what you think Next, we've got a Knight Vexilor with Banner of Apotheosis. And the banners the Knight's Vexilor carry contain a fragment of the Great Anvil upon which the Stormcast Eternals were forged, and the power that radiates from them fortifies all those who fight nearby. So another great kind of hero-looking figure. This banner's insane. Tons of detail on that. Hopefully it's like kind of like a relief, so it'd be easy to pick out those details and paint them. But I really like this banner looking awesome again we've got that nice animal kind of carvings or shapes on the on the armor on the shoulder pad and the knee pad a great stunts and looking awesome real dominating looking figure so i really like this one and i think having this on the table as a kind of heroic figure again it's just gonna look great and that sword with the engravings in it just fantastic so all round so far we've seen some brilliant miniatures but we're not done yet there's tons more to see so let's keep going Next, we're going to see 10 Vindictors, and these guys and girls are wielding lightning blessed spears and shields, arcs of blazing Azerite power form around them as they hold the battle line. And so these are like your little infantry, if you like, really good looking models, some with banners, some without. You can have all different poses. The shields look great. The different poses, I think, are really fantastic. And they said in the preview that you're going to get 10 helmets and 10 heads and they're a mix of male and female so you can chop and change these as much as you like really personalize them pose them in different ways and really get them looking how you like so i i think the helmets are good but i also like them without the helmets i think they look really really cool to see the hair and the, the different faces and the expressions and things so i'll be doing probably a mixture of each i haven't decided i'll wait till i get the box and see it in detail but i really like this guy in this picture in the bottom left that's a great pose and i think with all the different options it's going to be fantastic to put this little battle line together now we're going to see three different Praetors, and these are elite bodyguards that are soul bonded to the heroes they're charged to protect. And you can see they've got these big halberds. Again, some great poses. We've got options of having them with and without the helmets. And the real kind of animalistic uh, like forms they've put on these armor pieces are really standing out and looking great. Also like the kind of different textures you're getting from that rope binding around their belt as well looking really awesome so these are fantastic you get three different ones again and options to chop and change them as you like now we're on to these big guys the annihilators and these are hulking goliaths that dish out pain as well as they can take it and they charge into battle with the force of a meteor and they've got these massive hammers here these cool round shields which are really big so you can see they're going to be real tough real strong real menacing and there's going to be three in the box so i can't wait to see these and again you've got the different options with the helmet i think it looks like we're going to have three different poses not sure if these bases are going to be formed i think uh, you probably just get that little piece that you see at the front of this one here that sticks out um, so the bases don't look too formed on that but this guy's crazy that face looks awesome with that scar he's really seen some battle damage and the chest plate is just incredible that big kind of lion there i love that so looking awesome and i love the lightning that you can see running through the hammer as well so it's going to be great when it's all painted up so there we go that's the final model that we're going to see but here's the whole dominion set and again if you haven't seen it already check that video out on my channel but all together in the box we're going to get so many things here so let's have a quick recap of what we're going to get so we're going to get these 21 stormcast eternals 39 cruel boys oryx an exclusive launch edition core book 24 page booklet to get started 14 war scroll cards and two allegiance ability cards so tons of stuff in the box so here we go, there's that exclusive cover, so that full cover artwork that we're going to see for the core book. And this artwork's repeated in the other regular version that you can buy that's going to be released alongside it. So if you wanted to just buy the book, you can get that too. But in the box, we're also going to get this War or Amberstone Watch, the start here booklet with the War Scrolls as well. And so this is really going to be an introduction to the game and a bit of narrative. But on top of this box set, we also got to see some other miniatures being released to accompany it, and that's the Stormcast chariot and check this out this is so cool and it, it said on the preview that wreathed in celestial energy that blinds the foe the stormcast eternals of the angelo's conclave employ swift griff charger chariots as potent line breakers 
And so that's really cool. I mean, look at this. This just looks great. And um, I think this might be my favorite out of all the models we've seen so far. It looks fantastic. So hopefully this isn't too expensive, this model. And this would certainly be something I'd love to get alongside that Dominion box set. So we'll wait and see on the price for that. But there's also this as well, the Knight Judicator with Griff Hounds. And these are masterful archers of the Stormcast Eternals. And they can rain down arrows on the battlefield. And they can also direct the gaze of Sigmar himself to unleash his wrath. So this is a really good pose here for this guy, the Knight Judicator. Um, really liking this. That huge bow is crazy. And the Griff Hounds, they're really coming to life here in these poses. So I think these are my favorite Griff Hounds I've seen out of any of them. I love the poses. I like what they've done there with the paintwork. That's really cool. Looks like a crow, a pheasant, and a lion all got together and created this crazy looking beast. So really impressed by this, and I'd certainly like to get this one to go with that chariot too. So that's all the new Stormcast Eternal miniatures we saw in the reveal, but we also got to see loads more items when they released the, the date that we can order this. And this includes the Age of Sigmar core book, and this is a limited edition book. It looks great. Um, yeah, so if you're into the limited edition books, this one is a good option for you, looking awesome. And this is gonna be available again from the 19th of June to pre-order. You can also get the regular hardback copy of the core books. You don't have to pay out for the limited edition if you don't want to. Then we've got some General's Handbook there. And so this is gonna be great if you wanna play pitch battles. And then you can also get this Path to Glory Diary, which looks really interesting. This would be a good way to keep track of your army's growth. Then we've got some Realmscape objective sets. We're gonna get six scenery pieces that represent the trappings of a Dawnbringer Crusade settlements. And then with these, we can mark our objectives during a game or use them as some extra kind of scatter terrain, certainly in other games too. I'll be using these in Warcry for sure. We're also gonna be able to pre-order this pair of reversible fold-out gaming boards. So if you want some new comic boards to play with, then these are gonna be perfect. We've got a combat gauge that's tailor-made for the game, some new Citadel base paints, and we've got ones for the Hobgrots and the Oryx, so that's really cool, and another brown as well to add to the mix. Then we've got the novel by Darius Hink for Dominion as a paperback and as an ebook. And you're also gonna to get to be able to order these as special editions um, in, with two different covers. So one for the Oryx, one for the Stormcast Eternals. So we've got tons of things to look at for the pre-order so we can pick and choose the things we like. So loads of different options there. But look out on the channel here as I keep you updated with all the new edition updates as they come out. And I'll also be doing a video really soon that goes into a little bit more detail about who the Stormcast Eternal are and how they'll be playing in the new edition. And so for me, Age of Sigmar is gonna be a new game that I haven't played yet. So I'm really looking forward to getting started with that. Big fan of Warcry, and if you've been watching the channel before, you know that I put out daily content for Warhammer Underworlds and Warcry, and now we're gonna add Age of Sigmar to the mix and try that out too. I'd love to hear what you think about these new Stormcast Eternals. So join in in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite model is. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. That'd be great to see you there.